Hi everyone, welcome to Some Good Math with the Math Sorcerer. So what is this and what are you watching? Well, this is the first episode of Some Good Math. And in this episode, we're going to talk about why anyone can do math. And if it isn't obvious, I have no idea what I'm doing. With everyone home during these times, it turns out that kids are spending more time playing with their toys. Kids are home more, kids like toys, kids play with toys. And it turns out that some of these toys are actually learning how to do math. That's right, toys can actually do math. Even puppets can do math. Check this out. I am Rat Puppet, and I am invincible at math. Even my Justin Timberlake bobblehead is starting to learn some math. That's how long I've been home and sitting at my desk, that my bobblehead is learning how to do math. I'm a Justin Timberlake bobblehead. I'm not the real Justin Timberlake. I'm better, because my head bobbles. I'm awesome at math. And I used to be in sync, but now I'm better at math. That's pretty ridiculous. A Justin Timberlake bobblehead doing math. Because people are home with their pets, pets, in particular dogs, have actually started to learn to do math. Check out this clip where some dogs have actually learned to do math. Wrong clip, sorry. I just had to show you that one. Okay, here is the real clip. Here are dogs actually learning and doing math. And then now we can multiply by the reciprocal of one half, which is very good, good boy, you're gonna get a treat. So you just multiply by two. And those are some great dogs. With all the time he's had at home, my good friend Stanley has finally managed to get his college degree. That's some good math. Check out this clip from Stanley. I started going to college up the street, Capital City Community College. I don't know, I like college, I like the people, I have lots of friends. Do you want to see my rock collection? Good work, Stanley, we're all really, really proud of you. Teachers all over the world are now teaching live from their home so that they can empower students with the knowledge that they normally would present in the classroom. Check out this teacher, he is doing his the best he can to teach the students some good math right from his closet. Check it out. Look at the quadruple integral of this we end up with the space-time continuum, uh, in other words, the end of the world. So we have to find the um, derivative of this function, um, but there's a square root. So what we can do then is just get rid of the square root and um, write it like this. And we're being really abusive here. I'm using the same function, but it doesn't really matter um, that I'm using the same one. We can just rename it put a little tilde over it, and now we can take the derivative without having to worry uh, about the square root. It's a conceptual move, uh, not an algebraic one. Attendance is not mandatory in this class. In fact, most of the time, I might not even be here, so just don't worry about it. Yard ornament outside my house is actually learning to do math. I sprinkle infinite series on my tacos in the morning for breakfast, because I'm the Maya statue. I may not be as cool as Justin, but orale, I can outmath him any day of the week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to tune in next week for the second episode of Some Good Math. Take care.